The current COVID-19 trends, why Cedarburg Strawberry Fest organizers say they're canceling this year's event, but a group of business owners is trying to change their mind. Cassidy Williams has more on why it may be too late. We're here to say what we can. Catherine Fleischer is one of the few furriers left in southeast Wisconsin. Her boutique, Elements Unleashed, specializes in restoring vintage furs. If you take care of your fur properly, there is no reason why it can't last you beyond your lifetime. She's now turning from trying to save furs to saving a festival. We're Cedarburg strong, so um, to have us not show our strength and our warmth and welcoming um, is disappointing. Elements Unleashed sits on Washington Avenue, the road through the heart of Cedarburg that in a typical summer gets shut down for two days to be filled with people during Strawberry Fest. CDC recommended that there be no large events. BJ Homayeni is the festival's executive director. She also owns a business on Washington Avenue, but understands why the board made its decision to cancel. No festival, no job. Of course, I would want the festival. But I want it to be done in a manner that keeps everyone safe. The news that there will be no strawberry fest for the second year in a row, turning the town sour. We received uh, threatening phone calls all day long. Uh, we've gotten a few nasty emails. While some turn to hate, others turn to action. Elements Unleashed working with the Shinery next door to distribute a petition to save the festival which might have a bigger impact. It may not change the decision, but it certainly will show us how many people are in support of us to continue the festivals as we move forward into the future. Festival organizers hoping Washington Avenue will once again be filled in September for Wine and Harvest Festival. Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. According to the festivals of Cedarburg's website, it's also still planning to host Oktoberfest this fall.